Hey there, Louis Ecobellis here. Thanks for stopping by. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to use the recently released Microsoft Teams Bulletins Sample app. Now, before we get started, what exactly is the Bulletins app for? Uh, the Bulletins app was designed to allow organizations to share content easily within Microsoft Teams. Um, more specifically, the Bulletins app allows for the sharing of content such as articles or posts, uh, FAQs or frequently asked questions, and also so key links and contacts. Now, all of these different informational elements can be organized into categories, and it's really about putting this information um, in, a, in an accessible format that is really um, easy to access. Another real good feature of the Bulletin Sample app is that it also allows organizations and users to view analytics over the content, which is incredibly powerful. Um, and one of the most important features of the Bulletin Sample app is that it's fully optimized for mobile, which is really important considering many Teams users are making good use of the mobile application in their day-to-day. -day. Um, now, before we get into the tutorial, it is important to note that a Bulletin app is considered a sample app, which means that it was built by Microsoft using the Power Platform. Uh, and Microsoft is really doing this to showcase the extensibility of both Microsoft Teams uh, and its Power Platform, which consists of Microsoft Power Apps and Microsoft Power Automate. So you can actually even customize this app um, if you're experienced with using those Power Platform components. Um, now let's go ahead and let's get started. Uh, so first things first, if you want to add the Bulletins app uh, to your Microsoft Teams, what you want to do is you want to come over to the app bar and you want to click on more added apps and you want to search for Bulletins. Okay, then you want to go ahead and click on it and you want to add it to a particular team. So this app is actually embedded within a team. Uh, now, important note, when you're adding it to a team, for me, it did take a couple minutes to get up and running. And I believe there were a few questions that I had to answer as part of that initial configuration. So just something to keep in mind. Um, now let's get started with a quick walkthrough of the Bulletins app user interface. Now when you add the Bulletins app to a team, uh, you'll notice that there are actually two different tabs that get added to that team. Uh, the first one is Bulletins and the second one is Manage Bulletins. Uh, bulletins is where users come to actually access the content that is published in the Bulletins app. Okay, so we'll get started with the Bulletins app and you'll notice that the um, sub tab here is home. This is where you can actually come to view articles or posts or as the app is calling them bulletins and view this kind of content. So you can see this is really about publishing content in um, this card format. Now, if you click on one of these cards, it'll actually pop out and show you the content of this bulletin. So you can see here, there's a nice little picture. There's the actual content. Um, and you can also bookmark uh, bulletins for ease of access later. Now, I'm going to go ahead and close this. Uh, the other thing you'll notice with the bulletins is they're, that they're also organized into categories. So by default, out of the box, the categories that were included in the app are customer updates, employee resources, and product updates. So this is, again, one of the features of this app is really taking content and organizing it in a way that's useful for you. Um, the other things that you can do here is you can click to view your bookmarks. So clicking on this little filter button will show you either show me everything or show me my bookmarked content. So again, making this information um, easily accessible. Okay. Uh, you can also manage your category preferences. So over time, you'd imagine these categories perhaps, um, you know, would be, um, there would be many more than what's listed here. So you can rearrange the order and you can also hide categories that perhaps are not relevant. Um, and last but not least, there is a search box as well. So you can go ahead and actually search for um, articles or content. Um, now moving over to the FAQs. So FAQs are frequently asked questions. This is really a place for organizations to publish uh, common questions uh, that you want to have a central uh, repository for and answers readily available. Okay, and again, within the FAQs, um, you can search for content and FAQs are organized into sort of categories or topics. So you can see right now, there's only one FAQ listed here. I'm gonna go ahead and click on it. Uh, and it's, you know, is the duo available for a discounted price? And you can see the response there, pretty simple, not a whole lot to it. Uh, and last but not least, there is the links and contacts tab. Okay, and this is really meant to share key links for your organization and or key contacts. 
So you can see here that there is a key link, uh, which is the company website. And if I were to click on this, it would actually just punch out and open my browser and take me to that link. Uh, and there's also a contact card here that I can send an email or message to, okay, um, using the different buttons listed here. Now that is how you access content in the bulletins app. Now let's go ahead and look at creating content. Um, so to create or manage your content in the bulletins app, you wanna go ahead and click on the manage bulletins tab. This is where you will be doing all of your uh, content creation, okay? Uh, and again, just like the bulletins app, you'll notice here we have our three tabs. Uh, so clicking on the bulletins tab is going to show you a list of your published articles or posts uh, and the ones that are in draft status. Okay, so again, um, you can actually click into published uh, bulletins and um, unpublish them, delete them, or edit them. Okay, and this is also where you can actually view some of these analytics. So it's really just um, high level analytics, views, bookmarks, and a trend of your views. Okay, um, and you can create a new bulletin by clicking on the new bulletin button. So this is going to bring up the new bulletin card and here's where you'll actually fill out the details. So the first thing you need to do is set a category and I'll show you how to change these. Okay, so if I wanted to publish something under employee resources, I can select that category. Um, you can choose to have a bulletin be featured. This will always peg it at the top of the bulletins list and you can set an expiration date for how long it should be featured. Okay, you can actually schedule these to publish as well, which is pretty useful. In the actual bulletin details, you can add a cover image, okay, uh, or you can add a video. So if I wanted to upload something or use a stock photo, I can go ahead and do that. Okay, or I can add a video URL and have that be featured as well. Pretty handy for uh, training videos, for example. Um, you can give your post or your bulletin a title. Check out my bulletin. You can give it a subtitle. And then last but not least, you can go ahead and enter in your content. Okay, and again, uh, these bulletins do feature um, rich text, rich content, so you can actually put um, anything that you would like in here as well. Um, if you wanted to add a button for this, you could go ahead and do that, and you could also an enter a URL uh, for this button. Okay, so if you wanted to have a link to punch out to another website or another resource, for example, you can do that, and you can go ahead um, and enter an author. So I'm going to go ahead and preview this. So there you go. Uh, just a straightforward post, okay, uh, and I'm going to save this. Now to publish a bulletin, you want to go ahead and click on your publish button, and you can see here that I've now um, added my new bulletin. So it's pretty straightforward. Next, let's take a look at the FAQs. So uh, again, when you click on the FAQs tab, it's going to show you a list of your um, posted FAQs. So you can see here our one FAQ. I can also click into this again, and I can amend this. Okay, I can delete it. To create a new FAQ, you just want to click on that new FAQ button. Okay, you want to go ahead and select your category. Again, you can choose to make an FAQ featured. Then you want to enter your question. All right, uh, and now I'm going to go ahead and save this. And what's interesting about the FAQs is there actually is a requirement here to click approve. So this is kind of a basic workflow in terms of somebody would create some content around a frequently asked question. And then I guess there would be um, some opportunity to have somebody review that content and approve it. Okay, now while it's um, sitting in this state waiting for approval, uh, it will not be published. Once I click on this approve button, it's actually going to be uh, visible on our FAQ um, tab in our bulletins tab. Um, and then the links and contacts. Clicking on this is going to bring up um, the place in the Bulletins app where you can add a link. So if you want to add a link, click on that button. And that is going to bring up the new link card. So you can go ahead and put in your title. So I'm just going to say YouTube. This is the link for YouTube. You can again associate your links with um, a category and I'll show you how to change these. And then you can go ahead and change or enter your URL. And if you were to preview this again, it's just going to punch out into your browser. So I'm going to go ahead and click save. That's adding a link. If I want to add a contact, I can click on the add a contact button. Okay, uh, and then you can again fill out this card so you can select a contact and you can actually search for somebody here. 
Okay, and again, this is going to allow you to search for um, members of your team. So I'm going to go ahead and select my contact here. It's going to pull up their um, details from their Microsoft Teams profile. You can assign a category and enter a description. All right, now the last thing I'll show you is how to adjust some of the settings of the Bulletins app. So um, to do that, again, you want to be in the Manage Bulletins tab and you want to come over to the setting icon here and you want to click on this. What this is going to allow you to do is this is where you can come to manage your categories. Okay, so you can see here uh, bulletin categories and we have our three defaults. Um, you can easily rename these by clicking into them or delete them altogether by clicking on the little trash uh, trash can icon. Uh, and if you want to add a category, you can click on the add category button as well. Okay, and it's the exact same for your FAQs and your link categories. Pretty straightforward. Um, so that's it. That was a quick overview of how to use the Microsoft Teams Bulletins app. I hope you found this tutorial useful. If you did, please like it. Please drop a comment below. And most importantly, please be sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel to stay up to date on the latest Microsoft Teams tutorials. Thanks for stopping by. Talk to you soon.